Welcome to Excel Name Trick number 12. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the Excel workbook, Excel Name Series 1 to 12. Hey, trick number 12, I saved up a bunch. Now, I want to come over here. The last topic is the most amazing feature in Excel 2007. Uh, table. The table feature has this naming ability called table nomenclature that's just amazing. Hey, I want to convert this to a table, and this only works in 2007. I guess insert table if you want, but the keyboard shortcut control T or control L for earlier versions when we had lists. Control T, it says, where is your data? There it is. Does it have headers? Yes. Click OK. Now, watch this. The whole table, if I come up here to table tools design, it has the name table. Let's call this uh, DSSR for date sales sales rep. Now, if I go up here and look, it's got DSSR. Now, I want to do um, type Joe's name here and then do a count if function. This is all to lead up to the most amazing name feature of um, Excel tables. They're actually dynamic. We're going to do a count, we're going to do a, a, a count if to count Joe's sales. But we're going to um, then notice that as we add records to this table, the formula will be updating equals count if tab. Now the range, you could actually simply highlight this right here. And this would work. Um, but I'm going to use the name feature. Um, this was DSSR. And it shows as a little table there. And then you type a square bracket. As soon as you type a square bracket, that is so cool. It gives you a list. It knows that this is the table in that square bracket. It allows, it gives you this list. You can actually count just the headers, just the totals, if you had totals at the bottom. This row only. But we want sales rep. So I'm going to double click that. You could type it too. And then end square bracket. Square brackets are right like below backspace but above enter and to the left a little bit. Now that's the range and then the criteria is Joe right there. Close parentheses. Control enter. He had two. But watch this. That's what's so amazing about this naming feature. I'm going to click in the bottom of a table. And anytime you're at the bottom of a table, if you hit tab, it adds a new record. FEB 2000 and I'm going to say Joe. Tab. Oh, there it updated. Feb 2009, and then Joe again, just to show you how that updates. Okay, so that's it for names. We'll see you next Excel trick and Excel series.